What's up guys, Coach Steve here, NDO Training. All right, today we're doing part two of our uh, breakdown for Marcelo Huertas, part of the Art of Passing uh, breakdown. So let's get started. All right, here we have him coming off a screen and then he gets a rescreen, um, but the whole thing, there's an action going on here. So what, that, what happens is there's a down screen on the weak side. So the help side defense is being occupied. All right, and then the ball side guard rolls up, so the help side defender on the ball side rolls up, and that way the paint is wide open. He throws the ball where only his big can get. All right, here we have a transition. All right, he surveys the field, um, and he makes this little drop pass for a, a cutting big for a finish there. Really great pass and read. Um, the whole thing here is, all right, we're going to rewind it back. All right, so he drives, right? He gets the ball in transition. He starts pushing the ball. And when he gets to the wing, the key thing, he surveys. There's nobody in front of him, so he turns back to see where everybody is. That way he can see where the help defense is. Once again, everybody's locked in on somebody. Nobody in the paint streaking big to the hoop. Easy pass for an easy layup. Great one-handed bounce pass um, off the hip. All right, here, it's a very... Uh, they say pat jumping in the air to pass is not good, but I think there's a time and situation for everything. So here, once again, he comes off the screen. Um, first off, the the big gets caught. I mean, the guard gets caught under the big, so he spins off the big who did a hard hedge. He jumps. Now he could pass it to the big because he's wide open in the paint, but there's also the weak side, uh, opposite side corner wide open as well. So either pass would have been great. All right, here. Um, we have him scoring. All right, nobody steps up. It's important to show that to be a good passer, you got to show that you can score. But also, um, I want to point out that if the big stepped up, he would have had a little drop pass for his big, right, right in the middle of the paint. Also, that weak side help, right, he was in the paint. He might have been able to kick it out to the corner. So watch again. Um, we're going to freeze. See the help side's in the paint. He could have kicked it out to the guy in the corner for an open shot as well. So there's multiple reads, but it's also to show that if you can score, all right, the defense has to respect that, and then that makes them help, which creates opportunities to make plays. All right, here we have a, a transition action where they try to press. Um, he does a great job pr uh, breaking it. Um, the key thing is he looks past his first defender. He knows he can get by that first defender. Now the defense falls asleep, all right, and then the teammate is smart. He gets behind the defense, um, and he and he's able to cut to the open area and make the pass. All right, here, same action, transition. He's pushing the ball. All right, he sees the big kind of streaking, but they're kind of making playing that pass. All right, he sees that the, the opposite big, all right, I mean the opposite big, the other trailing big, is wide open because he doesn't see anybody following him so we're gonna want rewind it really quickly so what I mean by the ch other trailing big on defense is that he's um, he's nowhere in the picture and also if you see again he looks back to see where everybody is too all right that's key so in surveying the court and seeing where everybody is all right so he sees him he knows he's running boom it puts the help defense in a bad position so it's an easy poster all right, tune in for more. We'll do Steve Nash, uh, John Stockton, some of the great passes, Chris Paul. All right, keep learning, keep getting better. All right, note is off.